Hi guys, I'm EVM. Welcome back to the channel. We're about to set off to Inverness, which is over 400 miles from where we're currently sat. The idea is we've got an EV which can do well over 250 miles on a single real world charge. Um, is that enough? Should you need more? Because a lot of people tell me you need five, 600 mile range batteries before they'll even look at one. But with just one stop, we'll be able to do a 500 mile yep. journey which is the same journey we've done several times in a petrol car and we stopped once, once anyway yeah, because yeah. It, it's a big journey you're looking even in a, what eight nine hours in a normal car you're gonna to want to stop once you're gonna to have to stop yeah. once you're even if it's just to, you yeah. yeah toilet break toilet to breaks eat. food if you if you have kids in the car it's not yeah, it's yeah every couple of hours but yeah, even if yeah. there's just you know a person or yourself you shouldn't be doing eight now an hour eight nine hour journey in one without stopping yeah. so is 250 miles in the uk at least the sweet spot for EVs, or do you need a little bit more? We're we'll about to find out. out. <laughs> right, we've done 213 miles. Food, charger. I'm ready for a break. Uh, I'm ready we, for a break as well. This is basically what we did in the Mini, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's made no difference. I mean, we'll be going straight to Inverness and we won't even need a full charge to get there. We're about 170 miles away, I think. We'd have, I mean, if we had a, a vehicle that did a lot, you know, 500 miles, we'd still be stopping now. We'll be, to eat. I suppose that's the point, isn't it? What's the maximum amount of time you should be driving before you stop? This is the sweet spot, I think. This is all, it's, it's, it's close to it, isn't you're it? You're looking at four hours, five hours if you went from, you know, 250 miles. Well, we've been doing four and a half hours, haven't we? Yeah. Now, if we'd have driven slower. We're driving on purposely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were driving at, <laughs> <laughs> at 70. From what I remember, you have to, a, a HGV driver has to stop for 45 minutes every four and a half hours. We don't have that same legal restriction. No, no, no. But it has to be in place for a reason. Responsibility, I think we should. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But ultimately, I mean, if we had one of our daughters in the in the car, we would have stopped oh, God. long before now. Yeah, yeah. Um, just to stretch your legs, get something to do, whatever. It doesn't matter, does it? So, so only the travelling salesman needs this mythical well, 600 it. mile yeah, range yeah, EV. Yeah. And even the then... Unicorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even then, a, a travelling salesman must stop on a on a ten, eight hour journey or whatever it turns it out do. to be. Yep. Unless you've got an empty bottle of comfort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a really big bladder. We'll catch you later way. when we get to Inverness, I guess. This no. can go up to 100 kilowatts. This only does 50, but the other ones, from what you understand, will only go to about 35, 40 on average. These things, apparently about 45-ish. And that's how it does real ale. It does real <laughs> ale. This, uh, CCS. Connect your vehicle, press start. Nice and easy. I don't need a, an app for this. No, no. I mean, you, you've done plenty of rapid charging with this, but have you ever seen something, something that doesn't require a stupid app no, to that charge? No, uh, a lot easier. Stop. Stop. Right, so we've had an hour and ten minute lunch, uh, not tea. lunch, tea, and then we're off, which was the exact same as what we did in the petrol car. Weather's not improved, as you can tell. No. Six weeks these chargers have been here, and uh, the guy at the uh, pub back there said the, uh, they were very popular. Right, that's getting wet now. <sighs> so we've done 250 miles, real world, in an EV made no difference to the journey compared nope. to the petrol version. Identical. So I guess the question is, which we've sort of touched on before, is how long should you drive for before you need a break? Whether you feel, I know we've all done it and we've all done long journeys yeah, and yeah, yeah. stuff yeah. like that and you get there. Foot down. <laughs> yeah, I just want to get there. Stopping, yeah, yeah. But how long should you realistically be driving for? For even a five hour, let's say five hours. Yeah. How far could you travel in five hours in the UK, given that at some point you're going to have a bit about of About 250 miles. About 250 <laughs> miles, yeah, so... But how many people? Yeah, I, I think mean, for 95% of people, I think five hours. I mean, how many people do over 250 miles yeah. in a day yeah, yeah. on a journey that isn't like a holiday, you know, one, two, three times a year? Very small, isn't it? So with this, you can do a four, five hundred mile journey. Yeah. How many people do over five hundred miles in the UK? In 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 a single you know day. I think even for a sales trip, if you're doing five hundred miles, it's theoretically one stop. Yeah, and think about it: a five hundred mile journey in a normal car is at least eight eight to ten hours. 
Yeah, yeah. So yeah. if they're a sales rep, when do they work? <laughs> <laughs> So there must, you know, I know there'll be someone out there that does more than that on a regular basis for some ridiculous reason, but for ninety nine percent of people, minimum, yeah, is two hundred and fifty enough? Or if you think another fifty miles or even hundred miles will give people that buffer? Because everyone, it's that, it's that. Oh, I'm in the red in my yeah, petrol yeah, yeah, car. Yeah. Need to refill it. I think two fifty. I think for, well, two fifty really. Speaking for myself, I yeah. think two fifty would be. You know, but, you could get to most from where. We are in Yorkshire. You could get to most places in the country in one yeah. stop. Yeah, easy. But in general public terms, certainly non-car people, they're going to want a buffer, aren't they? Well, I think some people are going to want five. You know, you're, you're yeah. Talking, you know, some people are going to. Oh, I'm not doing it until I get five hundred miles. Here. Yeah. So we're looking at maybe three hundred no. real-world miles. As a as, as a should be more than more than enough. If two hundred fifty is fine. Yeah. Yeah. But there's not a huge margin there. In theory, 300 miles is a sweet spot for an EV in this country. I mean, I was talking to someone at work, and uh, she said, "Oh well, uh, I always fill my tank up in my you know, petrol car when it gets to half. I never let it get below half." And I went, "Okay, then. Well, why is that? Oh, well, I just, I, it's just how I've always done it." And I thought, "Okay, that's fine. But surely that just means if you've got a, let's say, a 600 mile range car, you never use more than 300 miles of your fuel tax yeah. range." Now, if you put that into battery terms, where you've paid thousands of pounds extra for that yeah. extra 300 miles, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a total waste of money. Yeah. So I guess that's where we're at, isn't it? Because you, you, your fuel tank doesn't really cost anything in, no, in no, a petrol car. No, no, it's just space, isn't it? Yeah. But it does in an EV. So you, you have to make it more efficient for yourself, yeah. do you? Do I really need 600 miles for the single journey a year? Yeah. I'm going to do it. <laughs> or do I spec it? And get a really nice interior, a premium yeah, sound yeah, yeah, system yeah. with things I can enjoy every day. And look at the price difference and between stop. the standard range Model 3 and the long range Model 3. Yeah. Many yeah. thousands of pounds just for a bigger battery. Yeah. And even if you do in one charge, you're probably driving for longer than you should. Yeah. Uh, so it's a different way of looking at it. And I think until you own an EV, it never occurs to you. No. That it's different. It's and, you know, if someone said, well, all right, then, well, yeah, you can have that long range, but it's going to cost you another you 10 grand. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, that'll be fine. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so it's not just the car, I guess. The charging speed is, is almost king. Yeah, yeah. That's the key, isn't it? It's the thing we've noticed, isn't it, really? So even if you had a 200 mile range EV, if you could recharge it in five minutes in the future, yeah, yeah. range then becomes less. You know, how often does someone use more than 250 miles of their fuel tank before they're visiting a petrol station? Look, yeah, you go fill up, it's five minutes. Yeah, so a lot of people are basically looking at buying a car with a massive range for the single journey of the year. Yeah, yeah. That's the only Is it to feel to... safe? Or don't let them run yeah. out and be left strand, stranded somewhere? Yeah, yeah. And paying, it's, it's like insurance money almost, isn't it? That, that... There's been no range anxiety at all, has there? You just... You're not even looked at the, cha- uh, the no, thing. No, it's just it's like a normal car. It, it, it's, it's a car, yeah. I suppose an EV has arrived when like, you don't even think of it as different. It's a car. As a, it's a car. Yeah, yeah. People might be worth looking at when you're buying a car, isn't so much the, just the battery, it's the charging speed of the car. Yeah. Like your, uh, your great analogy yep. of the uh, broadband it's, 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 it just reminds me of broadband. You've got a file to download that's a certain size, yep. and dependent on your broadband speed, that's how quickly you're going to download that file. Yeah. You've got kilo, so many kilowatt battery, mm. and it's charging it at so many kilowatts. The faster the charge speed, yep. the, lower, the, the smaller the battery realistically needs to be. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you look at how far they've come, though, in a short space of time, we've doubled the yeah. size of batteries. We've Four years the, ago, doubling the charge rate. Yeah. Four years ago, my Nissan Leaf, which was the only one available at the time, state of the art, could do 70, 80 miles. And now we're sat in a car just four years later, yep. which is the same list price, but granted more in, you know, anyway, yeah. that's capable of doing 250 instead of 70 to 80. That's in a five year yeah. period. Yeah, yeah. Where will we be in another five, 10 year period? I still think that when EVs are normal and that's the only thing sold, there will be EVs sold with a probably a 300 mile range for those yeah, yeah. that just need a runabout yeah. because batteries cost money, at least they do now. It's, it's, a, it's in a, a big expense of the car. So why buy more than you need? Than you need? Yeah. Well, let's use the broadband as, a, as, as an example again. I'm on 40 meg at home, even though I can get the up to 80, which in reality is 55. There's no point in me paying another, I don't know, five, 10 pounds a month 
yeah. for a little bit of extra speed. Did so you? we'll stick with four because yeah, it's yeah. fine. And that's kind of what we're saying here, isn't it? For the one day out of the year, I might want that extra bit of speed. It's not worth paying no, all that extra. To, yeah, You'll, yeah, just live with it. Are we saying 300 miles is an optimum UK EV uh, range for all but the ridiculous high miles? I think so, yeah. What about if you can't charge at home? And um, yeah, I mean, I do high miles uh, in our car because we, me and my wife both use it for commuting. And on that video I did over the week, I think we did 220 miles. Yeah. Once a week we could charge yeah. this and get, and, and it wouldn't affect us. If you can't charge at yeah. home and you do 300 miles yeah. a week, you might not want the inconvenience. Exactly. But it's certainly getting more convenient Diminishing to have an electric Diminishing people, car. isn't it? It's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's becoming more convenient to have an electric car, isn't it? It's easier yeah. to own one now. And that's, I guess that's where the bigger battery comes into play, where, you know, you fill up, like you do with your car, once a week. You don't have to fill your car up at home, do you? Yeah. And then you drive it around, blah, 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 you know. Next week, fill it up again. Well, what do you do? You, you have a petrol car, you do similar amounts to me. Yep, I uh, refill my car every Friday morning. Right. You usually get a full tank a week. It's usually going down to red light on Friday. So basically, you recharge once a week. Yep. With this car, you could do a full week without having to charge anymore. Yeah, yeah. Or just... Or get it charging whilst you're at one of the places you work at, or... In an ideal world, yeah. People forget a three-pin plug is an option. If the car's sat there for eight hours in a car park whilst you're working, might as well have it, it charging. Well charging yeah, even yeah. if it's a trickle charge. Yep. I suppose the only solution to this is for someone to actually get an EV for a, a week or two and go, actually, this is not what I expected. Well, that's the thing, though, isn't it? You were saying uh, off camera that is it Nissan don't do that anymore. They did, you did it a three-day no, no. test drive? Four day. Was it four day? And Which was crucial for us, me and Lorna, and certainly proving it to Lorna, that it would work. Cool. It was a proof yeah. of concept. Yeah, yeah. So how do you convince people now? You can't test drive an, an electric car if you've never been in one no, before. No. And you want to know what it's like to live with in a half hour test drive with the sales guy sat in the uh, yeah, yeah. passenger seat. Oh, you could, of course, you could get a self-charging. A self-charging one? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A self-charging... You know, I wonder why Toyota have brought self-charging full electric out before. I, they should do. I, I mean, mean, if it's if it's if it's anything like their advert to be believed, it's better than it is. It is. I still couldn't tell you what cars they sell though. <laughs> <laughs> Prius. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's, that's the only one I can think of. Yeah. But yeah, back to this. I, I think ultimately, I, I'm going to go for 300 miles because people like a little bit of extra. Yeah. And I guess in winter. It's going to be less, isn't it? It might be slightly less. So that gives you 250 real mile, yeah. you know, real you, world winter miles. I think, yeah, I'm with you. I think 300 would be, would be brilliant. That, so the car wearing's 250, I don't have a problem with that. And I've, you know, mm. You've had a car with a 250 mile range, you said before, the Focus ST. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Two, yeah, two, fill, yeah, two uh, tanks of fuel a week. That was Oof. £120 a week in fuel. Ouch. And how much would it be in something like this? Nine pounds. Nine pounds. <laughs> on my so you'd be one hundred and ten pounds a week. A week better off. Doing the maths on that, I could have bought a Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the thing, isn't it? It's 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 the same but different. Yeah. I um, think the thing is, you need to know if it's going to fit in with your. It's it's a lifestyle thing, isn't it? Uh, can you charge yeah. it at home? It's, yeah. You need to know it's going to fit in. Uh, like Lana needed to know it was going to fit in with getting to work and back and with it. Yeah. Here, you know. Driving it was never really a major consideration. It's a car, isn't it's it? It's a car with an yeah. accelerator pedal. It's an yeah. automatic car, yeah. Yeah, basically, yeah. To, to drive. I can fill it up in five to ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. charging speeds will eventually get to that state. Yeah, it, oh, might, yeah. it might take 10, it might take 20, it might take 30. It will, it will eventually get, get. Yeah. So people that can't charge at home, it will be just come out like a petrol station model. Yeah, yeah. You'll take your car with a 400 mile range or whatever it's got, yeah. Plug it in for five minutes and you've got another three, four hundred miles. Yeah. I genuinely believe we'll get to that stage, given the fact what what's happened in the last few years. It's going to have to, isn't it? Yeah. There's no other way around it. it we will have to. There'll have yeah. to be a similar thing as you have with uh, getting fuel. Hmm. Pretty much. I, I think everyone's wanting the. It's moon on the stick again. I want an electric car that's got five hundred mile range. It's yeah, the yeah, same yeah. price as my Fiesta that I've had for ten years. There you go. Not in that colour. <laughs> 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 and there's always going to be hate for electric cars. I think, isn't there? It's, yeah, I mean, that, that, to be fair, it works both ways. There are some electric car owners. Well, I can imagine. Yeah, or even cyclists yeah. that hate, with an absolute passion, a petrol car owner, a diesel car owner, good God. 
Well, I think the hate goes both ways sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, not want to tell anyone about this because I'm trying to keep it low, but as I'm on the BBC next week, um, you know, and there's a cyclist arguing against car ownership on the same programme on the BBC, mm -hmm. on BBC Two, that I might be on, uh, will be on uh, next week, yeah. on the BBC website. Yeah. BBC. Oh, well. Did I say BBC? You did, yeah. I yeah, think yeah. I did. Right. So, so there, there were clearly people... Don't and search all... for that on Google Images. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've always said to people, electric cars aren't good for the environment. They're better than... Better than petrol <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and certainly diesel, but they're not good. Yeah. Personal transportation is bad. Until we get to the stage where we've got total recalls, Johnny cabs, yeah, uh, yeah, it, yeah. You know, personal car ownership is staying. We're going to carry on driving before it gets dark, and then probably we'll see you in a minute when we get to his hotel, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, well, obviously we're here at the uh, hotel room, no problems, and it's basically been the exact same journey as it was in the petrol car, as we said before. So uh, let me know in the comments whether you think, well, whether you agree with us about if a 250 mile car is, is the thing. Uh, is it the pinnacle range? Do you need a bit more? All the usual sort of stuff. Uh, subscribe, that sort of thing. Uh, it's late, but uh, we've got enough course 500 to do, so uh, thanks for watching as usual, guys, and I'll see you later. Good night. Hey. Are you sure that everyone does this on YouTube? Yeah, 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 yeah. Really? I, I promise, promise, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's part of the channel.